Good morning, New York traders. We got our non farm payroll preview today. Non farms are expected at 175, 180,000. There's nothing suggesting that this is going to deviate from this trend. We we're basically looking at hourly earnings as the most important aspect of this. But we're also a little bit sanguine about non-farms in general. It's just not giving us the bang for the buck it used to. And it's just sort of silly volatility instead of meaningful volatility overall. So we will watch the numbers uh, and keep it light this afternoon. More importantly from non-farms, uh, let's go straight to the cryptos. 200 day moving average in Bitcoin right here 7900 gotta hold your metal here if you're long you gotta sit long you gotta look to buy again uh, in sort of that 6400 range 5000 should definitely hold first time up we're looking for some sort of V bottom down here and perhaps some volatility into the weekend which is typical same thing in Ethereum. Print a low of 831. We're kind of at the lows now, 830. This low looks in jeopardy, 776. Just because there will be risk below that low. Nice pivot there. Uh, why not um, try and buy some in the 600s? Again, 400 looks like really, really strong support. So you're trying to get smalls in here between sort of 750 and 450 with the idea that this is a tactical trading position. And this is how we're going to roll on this. As far as currencies are concerned, Dollar Rand went a bit higher on the Zuma news. You know, he's like a bad case of syphilis. They just can't really get rid of him. It's hard to imagine they're going to have a vote on the 22nd of February. The reason it went higher is like, really? Are we having a vote? I thought he was already out. Clearly, he's not already out. Um, 12.02.60, the high. 17 handles there. This is what we were talking about last week with about Dollar Rand. Bad news is bound to come, and when it does come, it comes in waves. So... We're looking to get long dollar rand. We will be adding through 05. And we'll just see if we can get a series of higher highs and higher lows on the dailies. Dollar Swiss. This trend line is holding. It's amazing, really. Yesterday we were looking at 40. Didn't get done. We moved our entry to 38. Didn't get done. I was 36. Did not have the entry here. At, oh yeah, no, sorry. This is 40, 36. We did not have the entry here at 11, but we will have the entry here today at for non farms around 08. This hourly downward sloper is a really nice definer. It's been kind of spooky how it's just been holding. Uh, and so when it breaks, we feel like it's going to be meaningful. Cable's just floating around, sort of 142.1080. Euro dollars bid, taking up the uh, Euro crosses. Euro Swiss is at 05. Euro yen, 137.23. Not too sure what to do with Euro here. I would fade extremes today on non farms. Um, with the euro, because if it's a bullish dollar extreme, the euro uptrend is very strong. We fade. Uh, and if it's a really bearish dollar extreme, you know, we're getting a bit stretched here in euros, so I think you can also fade the top side. And so basically, what we're looking for is more consolidation in the euro. If you look at the bigger picture here, yes, we probably will get through 125.40 at some point. 
but we're looking for consolidation between 124 and 126. It doesn't help a lot when we're sitting at 124.80, but that is the call. Aussie and Kiwi, both lower. Aussie went all the way down to 79.77. Kiwi's been resisting lower, but it is trickling lower. We got down to 42 through this 200 hourly bar, but we have some, some tails down here, so we have to be a bit careful. We like core short Aussie Kiwi Canada. Canada has also done what we've asked it to do, which is move away from the 122.50 level. This is now the neckline, 123.31. So this will be a shift, kind of the bull bear line, 123.31 on the uh, short term. So we're trading 089 now. Again, it's quite dicey. Uh, momentum trading currencies over non-farms. What we suggest is do nothing in the first two minutes. Let it settle. Take a breath. Use your brains. And then put your strategy into play once the nonsense is over. Anyway, that's it for now. We will leave that with you guys. Short Aussie. Kiwi CAD. We will be watching this dollar Swiss trend line and we are buyers of Bitcoin and Ethereum. Gulp. Good luck, guys. Talk to you soon. Ciao.